one of the most kind of innate human things is like to bring sustenance to share that. Like that is like an inherently human thing to do is to, is to share food. Would you eat a meal prepared by someone with HIV? Only half of Canadians recently surveyed said yes, which is why Toronto's Casey House is launching a new project to help fight the stigma. It's a one-of-a-kind restaurant popping up in Toronto this week where all the chefs have something in common beyond their passion for food. They also all have HIV. I was 22 years old. The message from the physician was there's no medications. 30 years ago, you were basically told to quit your job, do your will, Everybody was dying. There's certainly been a trail of stigma that follows you every day. It doesn't really matter where you are and under what circumstances. I believe that there are a lot of things we discriminate against people for. And I think HIV in some cases became a surrogate for a lot of other people's other biases. It's not just ignorance, it's fear. These people are terrified of what they think HIV is. If you ever want to really connect with someone, you, you feed them, right? Like, that's the best way to get someone to maybe listen to you a little better. I think I always thought that my life was decided for me, what it was going to be, what it was going to look like, and maybe there are people out there that actually understand me or are willing to listen. HIV is not the one thing that defines me. 